UML diagrams are commonly employed in technical documentation due to their ability to effectively convey extensive information through visual representation. However, generating these diagrams typically requires utilizing drag and drop tools and requires a comprehensive understanding of the entire flowchart before initiating the creation process. To utilize ChatGPT for this task, simply give it a command. Although ChatGPT doesn't have the capability to generate diagrams directly, we can leverage plant UML or similar UML formats for this specific purpose. Unified modeling language, that are UML diagrams, are very crucial for visualizing and designing software systems. Be it a class diagram, activity diagram, or a sequence diagram, it is extremely important to structure your project in a diagrammatic way to make it more detailed and understandable. ChatGPT can assist you here in creating UML diagrams by interpreting your textual descriptions. By explaining the structure and behavior of your software, it can generate UML diagrams that provide a clear representation of your system's architecture, classes, and relationships. UML diagrams are commonly employed in technical documentation due to their ability to effectively convey extensive information through visual representation. However, generating these diagrams typically requires utilizing drag and drop tools and necessitates a comprehensive understanding of the entire flowchart before initiating the creation process. To utilize ChatGPT for this task, simply give it a command. Although ChatGPT doesn't have the capability to generate diagrams directly, we can leverage planned UML for this specific purpose. But before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends hoping to learn ChatGPT. Also, do let us know in the comments if you have any questions, suggestions or requests for more information and we will be happy to incorporate it in the next video. Planned UML is an open source tool that facilitates the rapid creation of UML diagrams by using simple text-based commands. So in ChatGPT, what you can do is you can inquire a simple question that please describe this particular functionality in plant UML format and then paste that format in the plant UML URL. I'm going to give it a simple command that please describe a library management system in plant UML format. Let's see what it has given me. It has given me the library management system in plant UML diagram. It has given me a class on library, then a class on book, its variables, along with the data types, and a class member. And then it has given me the different associations that I can have uh, among them. It has told me that library represents the library class and contains these attributes, book, member, and then we have relationships between the classes depicted using the association notation. The library class has one to many with both book and member. The member has one to many with the book class representing that the book borrowed by a member. This is a very basic representation of library management in plant UML. So what I can do here is I am going to copy this code I have already opened dithuml.com plant UML format. And what I will do is that I will just copy paste my code here and I'm going to click on generate UML. Okay, so it has given me a very detailed UML diagram that might have taken a lot of time for me to generate on my own. Okay, so you can see that this is a class diagram. Let's understand how an activity diagram looks like. By the way, if you want to learn about generative AI in far more depth and detail than what I'm covering here, we have a lot of courses of AI and ML from top universities in India and the world. Link is pinned in the comments. Go check it out. So you can see Plant UML has created a near perfect class diagram for the library management system. Now let us describe a simple use case of issuing a book from the library. We would need to see a detailed activity diagram for the same. Let us extend our prompt and ask a follow-up question here. Please give me a activity diagram for 
issuing a book in non-QML format. So remember that it has already taken the use case that we were working with and it has given me that member provides a library card. If it is valid, then yes. Otherwise, the member book is not available and inform the member that the card is invalid. Let's see how it looks like in plant UML. I'm going to generate the UML and this is how it looks like. The member is going to provide a library card. If it's valid, then it lets the member select a book. And if the book is available, it will record as borrowed and update the status and print the receipt. Otherwise, it will inform the member that the book is not available. And if it is not a valid library card, it is going to inform the member that the card is invalid. This is a pretty good diagram and it might take a lot of time for me to create this if I want to create it from scratch. Let us see another example where I say, please. Give me a sequence diagram for signing up a new member in the library management system. You can see that I did not even mention that I want it in plant UML format. It has automatically assumed by the context of our conversation before and given me the plant UML format for the same. Let's copy paste this and see how it looks like. Okay, so I'm just going to see how it looks like. Oh wow, it is telling, it has given me a very detailed sequence diagram. It has given the different users here. There is library, membership controller and member. Create a new member account, generate member ID, create new member instance, add member to the library and provide member ID and details to the user. As you can see on the screen that the sequence diagram is depicting whatever I have asked from ChatGPT. It showcases how you can modify the diagram to precisely match your requirements. You should feel free to experiment and customize it further to suit your new project idea. With the assistance of ChatGPT, you can now engage in the entire process of brainstorming, outlining a project structure and detailing its aspects using all of these UML diagrams. This is a very transformative approach to project development and designing that signifies a paradigm shift that will undoubtedly continue to evolve in the future. I think you should definitely embrace these new possibilities and the ever-changing landscape of project work.